How's it going, everybody? Well, Mr. Green here, and uh, I'm going to do a little video first on how to figure out the wiring for these little 12 volt. Uh, this is a 10 amp um, thermostat for uh, for my tractor, and uh, when you get it, you get these diagrams. Well, first of all, everything is in Chinese, so you can't read a damn thing unless you can read Chinese and uh, the diagram is just ridiculous so and I did I watched probably 20 videos on these and not one person in English would explain how to hook this wiring up so I'm going to quickly here uh, show you how I figured it out and uh, and then we'll kinda go from there so if you look on the di this is the diagram that they give you so you look at that and I found it very confusing because it looks like they don't show where the positive, the negative, or anything goes in. It just shows power and two lines up. That's it. So anyways, on the back of the controller, your thermostat wires, these don't matter what color goes in, whatever, goes in the NTC, these two ports here. The middle one is, the th or we'll, we'll go by the numbers. Three is your positive, so you would feed a positive line in so what I've done is take, this is positive two, number one is positive, and number three is positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a 12 volt, we'll go into one, and then I have a jumper wire from one to three, to power three. The way they show it on the diagram is just way more confusing. So, and this all works correctly. So, then your number four is your negative. So whatever your load negative is, you can run your load negative into that. And then your other negative, um, or yeah, that is your load negative and your negative from uh, your battery or wherever you're taking your negative from. They both go in here, both your negative for your load and your input negative. Oh, I know I'm not explaining this perfectly, but hopefully this helps but uh, so then your power out to your load is number two so you would hook your load up to two so that one is going to be my switch that's gonna go to my switch which this is gonna be on all the time but I'm gonna be able to control it with my switch because I don't want to have to program this every time I start the tractor so what I'm gonna do is just run this load out number two out to my switch that goes out to my blower motor so hopefully that helped explaining how this goes and if you have any questions um, just refer back to this I've got it marked out here positive negative so your two your your two negatives would go into there and then your power out to whatever you're powering is number one and number two is your uh, or no number two is your load sorry and number one is your power in so We'll go out, I'll get this hooked up into the tractor and we'll take a look. Alright guys, well, I uh, got it all hooked up now. Um, I've got it here right beside my panel so that everything is nice and convenient. There you go, it just kicked on. Um, once it hits 22 degrees, it will kick the fan back on. And then as you watch it here, it will uh, slowly go back up, actually pretty quickly. And uh, once it hits 25 degrees, it will uh, shut back or it will uh, turn back off again. So I have it set for, now this thing is a pain in the neck to set. The instructions that come with it are very hard to read. And, uh, but uh, you go to your first setting, the HC, you hold this button a second time, set it to the H, which is for heat. And here, I'll show you here in a second. It's going to hit 25 degrees and this will shut off. There you go. And then once it hits 22 degrees, it will kick back on. So no more dealing with uh, having to turn this switch on and off all the time. To try to keep it more manageable heat in here. So I, uh, as you can see, I got the other light switch in. Uh, so now all four are hooked up. So. It's a, a great little system once you can figure out the wiring and everything. This is 10 amps is what it's rated for. And this motor I think is uh, 7 amps is what it draws. So it's still less than uh, what, what it can handle. So 
But uh, yeah, so not not too hard. If you have any other questions, I, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, now, just keep in mind, I, the way I have mine wired is the power out to the load goes from here into my switch. So this will always be live. It'll always say the temperature, what it is outside. It will never shut off. It only uses a, a few milliamps of power to keep this L LCD going. Um, so when I get out of the tractor, I'll just click this switch right here. And uh, even if this does kick on, it won't allow power into the motor. So right now I'm just out working, cleaning the driveway out. So here you go, just kick on again. That's a really nice feature to have. So. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, thanks for checking this out. And uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And as always, if you click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. So everybody, you have a great day. Bye.